Welcome back, everybody. We don't know them all, but we owe them all. In honor of Veterans Day coming up, the National Ability Center is saluting our heroes with a big luncheon today. Lieutenant Colonel Trey Smith speaking at that luncheon, joining us to explain uh, all about it. Also, Katie here from the National Ability Center. Let's start right there. What do you guys do there? We are a nonprofit up in Park City, Utah, that provides adaptive recreation to people of all abilities, including our servicemen and women who have sacrificed so much for us. So tell us about the connection to the luncheon today. Today is a benefit luncheon for the National Ability Center. It's used to honor and to thank our servicemen and women, both active and, and retired, who have served our country by acknowledging their service, uh, listening to great speakers such as Trey and raising funds to go back to continue to provide military programs for our veterans. Um, Lieutenant Colonel, tell us a little bit about you and what you'll be speaking on today. Today I'll be speaking on uh, an experience that I had. So I just retired last month after 23 years as a United States Marine. And so um, basically 10 years ago on a deployment to Afghanistan, I was critically wounded. I was shot through both my legs and my arm. Um, went through multiple surgeries and a long time of recovery. Um, I almost jumped in and joined the workout today. Um, <laughs> when it comes to physical recovery, um, as a Marine, we all jump up and start working out and getting back to things. I did part of a triathlon 40 days after I was wounded um, and was running marathons within a year after uh, being wounded. And physical recovery is a very easy thing. Um, but I realized over the years, um, in dealing with my family and dealing with other circumstances that there was a mental toll that I was mm. taking that that I really needed some help on and so you know over time through philanthropic organizations I was tied into the National Ability Center um, and they are really there to help me with, with the unseen wounds. Yeah they do incredible things there. Mm -hmm. Tell us about what you offer to the veteran community. We've got everything from single-day ski and snowboard lessons, mountain biking, river rafting, to longer multi-day family health and wellness retreats, all the way up to a 14-day PTSD treatment program that is intended to provide uh, psychotherapy services and recreation mm -hmm. to the veteran uh, to support that PTSD recovery. And you talked about your experience, but why are these important to everyone that served? I think um, as, as military service members, we all... Um, we all try to carry a perception, a persona, right? That we can, that we survive, that we come back, right? And um, it's really, for some of us, most of us, I would say, we all have experiences uh, in, in traumatic uh, events that just don't blend with the daily reality, right? And so when you try and develop a rational consciousness every day as you get up and do your things, right? And I've heard this morning kids yelling at you, the text that you have, all yes. the things that happen in your life are so normal, right? And you fall into this normalcy every single day. Uh, but mentally, you carry these stories, mm -hmm. these experiences that are almost in a dream world that are so traumatic and so difficult to deal with. And when you wake up and walk through your day, how do you maintain continuity in, in, in existing when you have two opposing stories Worlds. that you're trying to like sew the fabric together in your mind of how you bring those things together? We all suffer in some way or form. Um, and, and really, I think there's, um, there's, there's a need for people who really just need to step out and do that. We, we're afraid to say something, we're afraid to do something about it, but those are really the most important things. And with the National Ability Center, you tie that into physical activity and the mental wellness. It's just a, a wonderful blend to, to really help you heal and move forward. Katie, I can see why he's your keynote speaker today uh, at the Saluting Our Heroes Luncheon, everybody. If you'd like to know more about the luncheon and also get involved with the National Ability Center, please go to our website. We will link you to all of their information. You can also become a volunteer at the website right there on your screen. Um, you two, thank you for being here. Good luck speaking and thank you for thank your you service. So much. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for stopping by. Coming up at the end of the hour, the 90s toys worth big bucks now, but first let's head over to Emily to